in this man's army. I'm not complaining, sir. It's my feet that are complaining. Soldier, you get KP duty for one week. What's KP? I think it means kitchen police. Oh, boy, I always wanted to be in the police. Hey, Hollywood, would you guys hold an intermission of that movie of yours long enough to give me a hand with this tent? Relax, Jonathan. An owl gave out a shrill hoot as Willy Wimpley, the world-famous boy explorer, turned and began walking back to camp through the deep, dark forest. Can we, Willy, walk back through the forest some other time? We want to get some sleep. His name isn't Wee Willy. It's Willy Wimpley, the world-famous boy explorer. Why don't you read about the real heroes with the Green Berets? Willy Wimpley is real, and he's stronger and tougher than the Green Berets. Just listen. The only sound Willy Wimpley could hear was the thumping of his heart. Thump, thump, thump. Why couldn't he hear anything but the thumping of his heart? I told you, I don't know. Let me finish and we'll all find out. Suddenly, Willy Wimpley heard a strange sound. It was unlike any sound he'd ever heard before. What sound? Would you let me finish? People who lived in these parts told about the legend of a large, furry creature who roamed this forest. Willie Wimpley had never believed this legend until now. By now, it was too dark to see in the forest. Suddenly, Willie Wimpley felt something. I feel something! Willie Wimpley felt something furry! I feel something furry! It was the creature! <laughs> it was the creature! <laughs> I can't believe little Muffy scared you guys last night. Well, if it hadn't been for your stupid Willy Wimpley book, that never would have happened. Just intuition. The monkeys looked like comic little creatures, but Willy Wimpley wondered if there might be some primitive, mysterious force guiding their every action. And monkeys are animals. Monkeys are mysterious. Monkeys are my relatives? It's perfect. It's no wonder it causes such a stood face to face with a ferocious beast. The huge hairy creature looked half human, half animal. Did the huge hairy creature look anything like this, Jonathan? A little like that, I guess. 
This is a baby orangutan. Aren't you going to read us another spine tingling willy wimply story, Jonathan? You guys always pick on me, possum. I feel like one of these animals here at the children's farm. You never leave me alone. Aw, Jonathan's all sad and blue. Just like one of these fat little bunnies. Jonathan, you look like you've got the zoo bunny blues. Why? Oh, why? Why don't they leave me alone? I said, why? Oh, why? Why don't they leave me alone? Cause you all done had your fun now. Why don't you all go home? I'm not all that crazy about penguins. You don't like penguins? How can you not like those cute little creatures? They're too stiff and stuck up. I agree with CB. Penguins are stiff and stuck up. They look like a bunch of guys getting ready to go to the debutante's ball. You'd never catch Willy Wimpley dressed like that. Penguin personalities. Are these birds for real? Is there any way to tell how they really feel? Look at what they're wearing. They're dressed up to the teeth. What do you guys have against Willy Wimpley anyway? Grow up. You have to stop living in a make-believe world. Willy Wimbley isn't make-believe. In fact, I think that's him sitting right over there. Hi, what's your name? Wimbley's the name? William R. Wimbley. But my friends call me Willie for short. We can be your ex, Mr. Bossom. Just give us a chance. Please. Well, what do you do? We sing. We dance. We sing and dance, both at the same time. We're the Super Dupers. How do you do? How do you do? Do you know who to do? do? How do you do? How do you do? Do you know who to do? do? We come to see the flyers and tigers and bears. They have their own climates and live in their own special lair. Good smiles and everything else. This is the, the grand finale. Okay? Here we go. This is going to start sooner. Be ready. Right. 